welcome to the Ultimate Contact Sheet Slideshow After Effects Template Customization Tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize and edit your video for the video scenes. So first, we're going to import our video. We go to File, Import, File, and then we'll select a video to import. Click Open. And then we'll go to our Replace Videos Here folder, twirl that down and go to the Video Scene 01 folder. Double click to open the Replace Video 01 composition. You'll see it's blank, there's nothing in there. Go back to our project panel, select our video file and just drag it into our timeline. As you can see, this one's a little small. So we'll hit S on our keyboard to bring up the scale properties and we'll scale that up a little bit. And if you want to edit your clip, um, I would suggest doing so in this composition. And you can either uh, put your cursor towards the beginning of or the start of this uh, video layer and you can edit that way. And then just make sure that it does start at zero. If you scrub through the timeline, you can see. Make sure that edit is where you want it. If we go back to our project panel and go to our scenes folder, go to the video scenes, double click on video scene 01, and you'll see that our video has been updated. And if you recall from the preview, we have this video. Um, it's at the beginning of the scene, it starts out with just a still frame and then the video plays and then it ends on the last frame of the video. There's a still frame and it looks like it's a photo in the contact sheet. And the way we do uh, kind of edit that is we go to this layer labeled edit and go down here to it, there's a layer marker labeled out point. And you can move this anywhere in the timeline. We'll move it down a little bit here. And when your current time indicator reaches this out point, it will trigger some animations and trigger the stop to some animations and that's where you get this um, sort of slowing down and then a still frame. So you will set the still frame for the ending in a different composition. So let's go to a project panel, go back to our replace videos here folder, video scene 01, Double click to open a set video start and end still frame composition. If we go to our second layer labeled video end frame, you'll see we have a time remap uh, keyframe here. And what that is, is uh, this is actually just a freeze frame. And by scrubbing through time indicator right here, you can change the still frame. And if you wanted to change the start frame too, um, you can select the video start frame layer, hit U on your keyboard, and then the same thing, we have a time remapping uh, keyframe. That's just a freeze frame, and you can actually change that. If you wanted uh, this beginning frame to be different than the beginning of the video. So let's go back to our video scene and we'll scrub through the timeline and we'll see where our end frame is and we'll move our out point right about there. So when the animation stops, we have our frame and actually did the wrong frame. So let's go back to set video, go to the end frame, make sure we're on that keyframe and then we'll just scrub it down about right there. So you would repeat that process for each of the video scenes. And again, you can move this out point to wherever you want in the timeline so that you can actually make this video scene much, much longer um, than what you see in the preview or shorter. So it all depends on, on what, you, um, what your needs are. If we go back to the render comp really quickly, if you go to our video scene 01 composition, it's a layer here in the timeline. We're going to zoom in here. And let's say this video was actually really long. We're gonna to go to the end of this layer and you can extend it. And then of course you'll wanna move all the other layers over. 
So if your video is playing a lot longer than the four or five seconds that are currently playing, you would also need to extend the length of the video scene composition in the render comp. 